Alrighty, back at it. <clears throat> Had to have a break. The neighbor comes over. The wife comes home. <clears throat> Things going on everywhere. But, we're doing the bottom bushings now. Here. Yeah, I like to hear back from everybody who's uh, replaced their bushings or <clears throat> what a difference it made for them. On their cuts. I haven't really had any uh, issues. Again, break it right here. Maybe I don't want to break. Well, we try this one. All right. It came off a lot easier. Normally when I mill my lumber, I normally mill it oversized and run it through a planer. If I need to get down to exacts. So I haven't really had any big issues with the blades. Of course, again, this fits super snug. I'm sure they're super snug. Bring them up, make sure there's no gap between the post and the bushings. And then our metal plate up. Get that guy. Well, the bottom ones you could have probably used a bit, a little bit longer bolts on them. Especially when you have that uh, standoff bracket here. Tighten her up. Yeah, I know. 
definitely enough threads there. Back side. Since it's starting to be that season again, it's time to do the maintenance. This will be readjusted on the stops here. Should be a half inch. Your blade to the top of your bunks. Quite a simple procedure, same thing when you put your mill together, <clears throat> that's how it goes. Let's spray this down here, silicon lubricant. That is that side. Let me move you around to the last side here. Bottom of that took seven minutes. A little over seven, I suppose. Let's see if we can do this without all these hornets coming after me. Remember when you're done, both sides, you're going to readjust your stop bolt. You bring it down, make sure your blade is minimum a half inch above your uh, bunks. Suppose that'll keep you from cutting into your bunks and also Cutting the tops off of your your log stops. That's pretty common. Everybody cuts a log stop once in a while. I've cut one. As you can see, how loose this is, and. That's why there is a replacement for it. We'll do this one here, same way. Breaks off pretty easy. There we go. In with the new. Again, from the front to the rear, tight squeeze.
sure there's no space that's up against the post. Bolts back in. The mills definitely <clears throat> takes care of their customers. I've had no complaints. Any issues I've had, they have jumped right on getting it fixed. Definitely keep the head from rattling. Being loose on your cuts, especially when you're doing hardwoods or pines with a lot of knots in them. The blade will want to wander on you. This definitely keep any head wobble away. One more on this guy here. Okay, go back over here. <clears throat> Just like that. And it is solid. There is no wobble anymore thanks to Woodland Mills Upgrade. Let's see how this bad board runs up and down this. Oh, smooth. Real nice. So probably about a 30 minute max put the brake in there. Makes this job complete and will definitely make this a happy mill. Make me a happy miller. I sure do appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. Remember the subscribing is free and you'll get upgrades every once in a while or uh Things that are happening around the Lucas family farm. So y'all have a beautiful day. God bless.